Welcome back. We're here for another bar class today. What you will need today is a stretchy band, a TheraBand. It doesn't matter what resistance, you can control the resistance, so whatever color you have on hand is perfect. If you don't have a TheraBand, just pick one of the other arm series that we have in our playlist and substitute. All right, let's get started. Starting here in a parallel stance, take a nice deep breath in. Let it go. Again, inhale and let it all go. One more breath in. Now the arms will go to second position. We plie down and up. Think about the tailbone reaching down as the head pulls up nice and high. Knees go in line with the toes. We're making it even bigger by finding a heel lift at the top. Relaxing the shoulders as you lift. And now we knee lift right and left so starting to warm up through the hip flexors warming up through the core keep those shoulders sinking down the length of the spine and now we pull those elbows down nice and tight in towards the midline find a twist opposite elbow to the opposite thigh really twisting through the torso trying to connect that knee to the elbow every time we get ready to take this to a first position so your toes are out your heels are in plie in and out alternating sides giving yourself a nice big push as you take the leg out and in. Now this is your modification. If you wanna stay as you are, you can. If you are ready to get that heart rate up a little bit faster, we jump, press. Landing softly, toe ball heel back into your deep bends. You're protecting the knees, protecting the spine. And then we'll find ourselves in second after we finish eight jumps to find like tiny little pulses. Just taking a moment to set up your form, rolling the shoulders down pushing the knees back behind you. And now right arm comes to a 90, left arm comes to the hip. We're gonna find a side stretch, reaching over to the left and then back. If you wanna make it even bigger, start to pull the elbow in towards the midline. Now notice the lower body isn't moving. It's not finding a lift and lower, just finding that hinge. After you find eight to the right, or excuse me, eight to the left with the right, we start to pulse. Sinking that right shoulder down, Eight pulses, then you return to center to finish it. Eight pulses, center, swapping out the arms. Left arm comes to that 90 degree bend. And then we find our stillness with the lower body and then stretch those fingers all the way up and over to the opposite side of the room. Reaching those fingers all the way to the opposite wall. After eight, you hold that reach and then you pulse. Eight, seven, six, maybe even set the tailbone down a little deeper and then finish those pulses back in center with the shoulders over the hips, a little lower. Second to curtsy, keeping it all on the right side. So finding that nice big diamond shape as you bring the foot back behind, hips and shoulders stay square. After you find your second to curtsy, finish it with pulses. So just hovering that challenge zone and then dropping yourself down one inch lower. Start to bring the hands behind the hips as you slightly hinge forward. We're gonna find three pulses with the speed skater. So leaping up and over, almost like a big old puddle. Stretch it out. Three, two, one, we reach. Two more like that. Now you can stay like this, or you can find single counts after this last one. We reach. Stretch, stretch. Pointing through those toes, getting a little wider every time you leap. And we're gonna take the entire series on the opposite side. So second to curtsy on the left leg. You're down and back, down and back. If anyone has any shoulder trouble, feel free to take these arms instead of overhead to shoulder height, perfect modification. So after you find those eight, you hang out in the back for those little tiny pulses, just getting deeper into that challenge zone. and then return for a deep breath in and up. Let's take it to our arm section. You'll need that TheraBand. So the TheraBand will go underneath the right foot and you give it a few little wraps around the palm. So as I mentioned in the intro, you control the resistance here. So we start with bicep curls, never losing the contraction within the bicep. 
You're keeping the core engaged. You're finding a soft bend within the knees. Dancing apparently to whatever song I was listening to. And then we'll take it out to almost like a W position. So the elbow's still hugging in towards that midline. And then you find that nice big bend. So if this is too easy for you, give it another little wrap. Too intense, unwrap just a little bit. And then we take the fingers in and then open, in and open. So we keep that contraction, hug that elbow in nice and tight, eight times like that. And then you hold the fingers out and we stretch. Little reach with the chest, reach with the fingers, really starting to feel that upper body work. And now from here, the palm is gonna reach forward and then back. So I'm gonna turn just so you can see what I'm doing. So palm is up, palm is up both times. So there's a slight hinge forward as you reach those fingers back behind you. Keeping that core nice and tight so you protect the low back as you reach and little tiny pulses up. So again, palm is up, chest is nice and proud, neck is long. After you find these 16 pulses, we're gonna take one pulse up and then one pulse to the side. So it's a little bit hard to see from this angle but it's one lift and then one reach of the pinky out. Little lift, little reach. And then we swap it out. So the exact same series, only with the left arm doing the work. So the left foot will step onto that stretchy band, give those that there band a little bit of a wrap and then start to pull that arm in. Let me take it out to the side, bicep curls. you've done eight front eight side we start to find that reach in and reach open keeping that contraction again keeping that soft bend within the knees really starting to feel that side of the body working as well and then holding the arm out to the side and then find that reach stretch so you're not locking out the elbow as you reach you're keeping that soft bend and then from here We'll take the fingers forward and then back. So palm up, palm up again. Hinge, reach. This angle might be a little bit easier to see when we find that little combo of the pulse up and pulse side. Then we hold it to the back and find little tiny pulses up. So it's not this big range of motion. It's nice and small. Just lifting a little bit more every time you pulse that palm up. Again, after you find those 16 pulses with the palm just going straight up, then we take it one lift and one side. There, it's a little better to see. One lift, one reach. Up and press. Now from here, take the TheraBand behind the back. The closer you hold to the midline, the more challenging it will be. We go back to our first to second, just like we did in the warm up but the arms reach in opposite directions, slightly in front of you. So you should be able to see your fingers in that band in your peripheral. No jumps for this one. And now hold it out. Keep the bend within the lower body and just start to find the little reaches. So little tiny extensions out. Maybe you even lift the heels off the floor to challenge your balance, dropping the tailbone down a little deeper. And then we hold it out and find little tiny pulses up as we send the hips down. Keeping that nice big reach forward. Keeping the tension within that TheraBand. Always an option to drop the heels to the floor if you need to. And then take those arms overhead and find shoulder press down. So there's a slight contraction within the core. As you push those arms down, you feel the ribs connect a little deeper to the hips. So almost like the belly button's pulling in a little bit tighter and then hold it down, shoulder height, and push the pinkies opposite sides. Not a big range of motion again. Just always pushing a little further out. 16 pulses total. Now the arms are gonna go in a diagonal shape, right arm up, left arm down, and then the right foot comes to a passe. Find three reaches down, one up. Always an option to drop the foot to the floor if you're having trouble with the balance. Three down, one up. Think about relaxing those shoulders, creating space between the ears and the shoulders. Now single counts down and up. 
trying not to sink down in that supporting hip. You want to create lift length and then swap it out. Left arm will go up, left foot to passe. Three down, one up. Again, you can take that foot to the floor, giving yourself a little bit more stability if you need to. Keep that right arm reaching nice and long down towards the lower diagonal. And then finding single counts, finishing this arm series here. And then release that theraband, interlace the hands behind the back, lifting the thumbs high off the hips, take your gaze up towards the sky. We'll take it to our bar series. So our, for our bar series, we are not using the bar today. So this is all center floor, just to show that you can do a bar section without any sort of prop at all. So we plie down and up. Toes are out, heels are in, we're in that natural first. Absolutely, if you have a bar and you want to use a bar to give yourself a little bit more stability and support, feel free or countertop. Now we hold our lowest potential and we find tiny little pulses. So as always, that pulse is your deepest push and then you just sink yourself down one more inch. First to second, just like we did in the last two sections. So you should be very familiar with this one. Knowing that this is your modification, you can stay here. Or if you want to burn a little extra calories, we jump. In and out. Again, nice and wide. Breathing. Toe ball heel. Eight jumps total. And then we find ourselves back in that second position to pulse. Barely moving, not a big range of motion. Hold it low and just lift and lower the heel. So spreading the toes to the webbing. This doesn't need to be the highest heel lift that you can think of. You want to think about shifting the weight to the second and the third toe as opposed to rolling back into the pinkies. Notice how my eye line really isn't moving. Now from here, we hold the heels high and just drop it down an inch, up an inch. Your legs are starting to fire up. Stay with it. Even if those legs start shaking, that's where the progress happens. You hold it low and pulse down. Little tiny pushes deeper. This is where you might want to use a bar, a chair, a counter, or if you've got good balance, nothing at all. Drop the heels and then find the tendu sweep. So this is just where we kiss the inner thighs in towards the midline. Try not to cross the midline because that's when the outside hip starts to lift. You want to keep the hips nice and square. So I took us here for 16 rounds. But if you want to take this and make your bar section a little bit longer, you could always find 32 of this section and then the next two series to follow. Up to you. We take it plie to passe. So we find this moment of balance as we stack the shoulder over the hip and the hip over the ankle, actively pointing that foot to the knee, turning out through that hip. Again, 16 times, or if you want to Make it even longer, you find those 32 counts. After we find the plie de passe, we're gonna change it to second to curtsy. Again, just like we did in our warm up. So just adding on, hips stay square, shoulders stay stacked over those hips, 16. And if you need to give your arms a little bit of a break, they can come to shoulder height. a little deeper every time. And then hold the last one. Lift your heel if you'd like to challenge yourself or you can keep it flat. Your choice. We're just hovering that challenge zone down an inch, up an inch, barely moving again. Almost lost my balance there. And then we find our pulses deeper into that push. Stay with it. Sitting a little lower. So I'm just shifting off to the side so you can see. I'm now widening the stance so I'm in a parallel lunge position. Knee comes in line with the ankle. Back knee starts to hover off the floor. Nice and low. And then hold it and pulse. So the front thigh and the back shin are working to be parallel down to the floor. 
Finding that lowest potential. And then from here, lift and lower the front heel. So again, the eye line isn't really moving. So it's staying nice and low, and then we just lift that front heel. Totally optional to skip that heel lift if you want and just maintain those pulses down with the heel flat. Now hold it up, pulse lift down. Legs are burning, shaking. A little lower. And then we meet in a parallel stance, squeezing inner thighs towards one another. So you would not have shifted directions. I just did for video sake. Again, we founded those, we founded, we found plies, and then we pulsed. Turn the toes out, now pulsing in that first position. And we're in repetition reduction. In for four, out for four. In for two, out for two. In for one, out for one. Oh, I guess I stayed with two. Now in for one, out for one, in for one. Rotating on the heels. And then we hold it out back in that natural first. Lift the heels, squeeze the heels. So those heels should be touching. We are back in that single, down an inch, up an inch. Eight times, and then we pulse. Sit a little deeper. Squeeze those heels a little tighter. Maintaining that diamond shape. And then push the knees back. So again, this is a little difficult to see in this video, but you'll notice that I'm not really focusing on pushing the knees forward. It's just about pushing them back and a little deeper into those outer thighs, those outer glutes. Now one down, one back. Combo, down, back, down, back. Notice that the heels are still squeezing. This is about the time that I got really tired. We take it in and out. So just restarting, plie first to second. We start the plies on the left side because we're just reversing the entire series on the opposite side. Again, you know what's coming. We're gonna find those jumps, in and out. Your heart rate already is at a good level. You stay with the alternating plies in and out instead of the jumps. Hold it out. Lift one heel. Tiny pulses. And then swap it out. Opposite heel lifts. Again, sinking deeper. You know what's coming. Both heels up. Back to your pulses. You can always keep the heels flat on the floor and just stick with those pulses. Plie tendu sweep. Again, 16 here on the left side. Hips stay square. Toes just point to the center of the space. A little lower and then a little taller as you squeeze in. Getting ready to change this to that passe. So again, finding that moment of balance as you bring the toe to the knee. Down and up. Try to stack the right side of the body on top of one another. All the way down, all the way up. If you were using a bar, you could find a releve as you lift, or if you have super balance, you could do that as well without the bar. I chose not to, in an effort to not make a fool of myself in the video. Changing it to second to curtsy. That left hip is gonna push forward so it stays square with the right. Again, if you found 32 on the right side, you'll wanna stick with it on the left side so you find that balance within the body. After you've found 16, if you're staying with my counts, we hold it back. And again, option to lift the front heel if you would like to, or you can keep it flat on the floor. And find our single counts, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Hovering. After you found eight singles, that's when we take it to those little tiny pulses. Nice and low, small. Yeah. 
And again, I'm shifting to the side. Single lunges here. So I just widened that curtsy position to find a parallel fourth. So you wanna make sure that the body or the legs are wide enough so that when you take it down to that lunge, the knee is in line with the ankle and then we hold and pulse. Covering that back knee just about one to two inches off the floor, or if in my case, getting lazy and keeping it up a little bit higher. Low, lift and lower that front heel. Try not to find this bounce within the upper body. Again, eight lift and lowers, and then we finish it here with those pulses. Final push for this bar section, or this center bar section. And we're, oh, whoa, <laughs> look at that little wink. All right, on to our core section. So we're gonna find Supta Baddha Konasana. So the soles of the feet come together and those knees drop wide. Hands behind the head, low back presses down to the floor. Exhale, lift and lower. So try not to pull on the head, neck and shoulders or pulling on the head as you lift the head, neck and shoulders up. Feeling the ribs connect a little deeper to the hips. And then find little pulses at the top. So notice that the shoulder blades stay nice and high. This is layer one. If you want to keep the outer edges of the feet on the floor in the Supta Baddha Konasana, you can. If you're ready to move on, we're going to go back to our singles, but then hover the feet off the floor. Now that Supta Baddha Konasana is a really nice stretch, so after we're done with this class, if you want to go back to it, enjoy it. After those eight singles, little tiny pulses. Smaller, lifting a little bit higher if you can. Again, pulling the belly in. And then the feet are on the floor, just a side reach. So right hand reaches to the right ankle, shortening the space between the ribs and the hips. Trying not to touch the shoulders down to the floor in between each one. And now find your pulse. So all you're doing is reaching a little bit further past that right ankle if you can. So you find 16 pulses, and then we're going to take to the opposite side. So the left fingers are going to reach to the left ankle. Again, my shoulders stay lifted. If you need a break at any time throughout this series, take it. Listen to your body. And then pulse 16 times. This time we shorten the space between the left side of the body as you lift up a little higher. Just finishing this core section. And then just pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. We're going to move on to lower body. So this lower body section that I'm taking you to, we've done a variation of this in a different video. This is just another, like I said, variation. So similar tabletop. Just lift and lower the right knee to the side. So the knee is directly in line with the left knee, and then we just lift and lower. We're not dumping down into the wrist. I want you to push the shoulders away from the palms and then hold at the top, little tiny pushes up. As always, that pulse, you find your highest potential, then you lift it up another inch. That neck stays nice and long. And then we circle. So take the knee forward, nice and small, about the size of a tennis ball. Little rotation. Now we tap the foot into the back of the knee and then stretch it out. In and stretch. Pointing the toes all the way to a back diagonal. Really focusing on that outer glute, the outer thigh. And then you hold it at the extension and find little tiny flicks. So the knee will not be down to the floor. It's actually slightly rotated. Here's those flicks. Little tiny kicks out. So really focusing on that reach. So we have 16 flicks. Start to lower yourself down to the left forearm. We're going to touch the right knee to the right tricep. So think about towards the underarm as opposed to the elbow. So the more you lift up, the more you start to feel the obliques firing up on that right side. 
And then we're going to swap it out, reversing the entire thing. So I'm turning around just for the sake of this video. Left knee lifts and lowers, flexing through that foot up and down. Why is it that every time I do the lower body stuff, I'm noticing how white my feet are? Maybe a little self-tanner on the feet. Note to self. Little pulses up. Again, shoulders away from those palms, not locking out the elbows. Finding that height and then lifting it just a little bit higher. We're going to get ready for our circles here forward. Again, just about the size of that golf ball, or excuse me, tennis ball. Little tiny circles up. Trying not to find this big old level change. After the circles, we tap the knee, excuse me, tap the foot to the back of the knee and then back out. In and reach, pointing all the way nice and long through that leg. Stretch it out. We hold it out and find those little tiny flicks. So keep the height of the leg, just hinge at the knee and flick it out. Stretch. We are finishing this lower body section. You will want to finish this short bar class with some sort of stretch. Again, if you want to take it down to your back and find a figure four, or find one of our stretch series within the playlist, feel free. Need a tricep, and you are done. We find ourselves in a child's pose, hips to heels. That feels good. See you later, guys.